Good afternoon, uh, everyone, and welcome to the question and answer session um, on the second cohort training on upskilling the last mile. Um, so thank you for joining this particular session just to understand more about what the training is and what we are offering in this particular cohort. So just to start us off, we'd like to mention and say a few words about uh, the GDC. Uh, the GDC, uh, who are the main uh, creators of this particular training, are, is a collective of more than 200 last mile distributors, and we're actually spread over 50 countries. Um, we are actually dedicated to supporting distributors to reach million uh, of unserved uh, communities with life-changing products. And uh, what we also do as a GDC is to ensure uh, through our work streams uh, that we are able to support distributors and uh, just make sure that uh, our last mile distributors have a collective voice through the GDC. And uh, we also support this through sharing learnings and uh, doing so by creating insights um, that are coming from the various innovations that we run through one of our work streams. And we also do this by highlighting some of our GDC member profiles uh, through member spotlights and highlights in our newsletters. And just uh, in a broader sense to just support the light last mile distributors to work effectively and to just achieve this uh, shared impact goals. So if you are not a member of the GDC, just to mention, it is still free to join the membership and uh, you can see the membership details on the screen and you can be able to get in touch with us on the next steps through that link. So moving on to the next slide is just to talk about more about the training. Uh, so the training is uh, mainly for last mile distributors who are trying to tackle challenges uh, such as to include uh, improvement of their sales in the various geographies, uh, ensuring there's retention of the field staff or agents, and also just to support in building more resilience within the companies, uh, also given this uh, particular different times that we have been working in, and also to ensure that there's an efficient agent network within your company. So this training is open to LMDs that are operating in Sub-Saharan Africa, and the preference uh, will be given to companies that have at least one owner or uh, are operating uh, from a particular country and have good representation from that particular country. Uh, we are also looking at companies that are women-led and have a turnover of $250 or less. So this particular training has two components to it. So one is the manager's training, uh, which will be the first one to start. Uh, in order to capacitate the managers to support the agents to go through the training. And the second component is the sales agents who will go through the particular training. So the managers are encouraged to cascade the training to their teams. As I had mentioned, the managers would be the first people to go through the training and will also support the sales agent as they go through their training after the managers have completed. So the training will have various topics that will be covered. One being the distribution models. Um, the other topic would be on consumer understanding, on uh, agent recruitment and training, digitization and supply chain management, as well as managing of dispersed teams. This is also to mention that uh, the gender dynamics that are often faced within companies uh, across these particular topics have also been considered when developing the particular contents. So moving on to the next slide, which is to introduce your trainers. So we will have two sessions uh, running in parallel. So one will be the French session, which will be led by Marine, and the second one will be led by myself. So both of us uh, work for BOP, and uh, to introduce BOP is one of the founding uh, partners of the GDC. Uh, so as part of the GDC, we lead various work streams, and uh, one of the work streams, uh, which is uh, this that we are talking about, is the training. Uh, we will be in charge of this, and we will try as much as possible to support you through the learning journey 
and to make it as efficient and as exciting as possible. So the agenda for today is to introduce to you what the learning journey is all about, to also talk about in detail on the course modules and the structure, then also to introduce to you the training platform that would be used for this particular training. And lastly, what we will mean by building a community of practice, especially if a training is done online. After this session, we hope to have a question and answer session to respond to any of the questions that you might have had before joining, and also that you will have as we continue with the session. So in case you have any questions uh, that you might want to ask uh, even before the question and answer session, feel free to raise your hand and we will respond to them as we go by. So to start it off is to introduce to you the learning journey. So the learning journey starts from uh, the 5th of October where we launched the training, where we are opening up for applications. As mentioned, it is open to Sub-Saharan Africa, especially for the last mile distributors. And the application window is open up until the 17th of October. So in between, you can see there is a question and answer session, which is what we are having today. And just in case you were not able to make it for this particular session, we will have the recording done and we will share it on our landing page for your reference. So following after this, we would have uh, companies uh, pay for the training. So those interested companies who will be shortlisted, I expected to pay by the 31st of October after which we will kickstart the training with the managers on the 1st of November. So the managers will be onboarded to the training platform and they will be able to go through the training content. And as of the 29th of November, after the managers training, the agents will be onboarded. So this is just to ensure that the managers are well equipped to support the agents and the agents are able to go through the training. So the training of the agents is expected to run for about three weeks, after which the training for both the managers and the agents would be concluded by the 17th of October. So the training in detail has specific modules for the managers and for the agents. So for the managers, it will be on the Talent LMS platform, which I will introduce later, and the modules will go through the Aspire framework. So the Aspire framework uh, is basically following uh, the agent training and management. Uh, and then it will be followed by building sustainable communities. Then how do you then learn on how to include products into your basket by building portfolio and creating demand for your products? And also how do you leverage on IT and digital uh, infrastructure that is within your geographies to uh, capacitate your business. Then also what are the kind of route to market and supply chain strategies that you can leverage in your business? And lastly, what are the kind of finance mechanisms that you can use to build your enterprise? Then in the following manner, we have uh, the agent training that will kick off after the managers and it will follow the ABCD sequence. So where the agents would be able to grow their sales starting with attracting your customers, which is the first A, and this is mainly focusing on marketing. Then we have, how do they balance their finances, which is for the B on the, the ABCD sequence. Then we have the C, which is on closing the sales, focusing on the sales aspect. And lastly, on D, which is the digital marketing and sales. So how do they use the various digital strategies or marketing strategies to support them in their marketing and sales? So to go into more detail, I will talk about uh, what to expect in the various courses, starting with the manager's course. So firstly, we've mentioned on the agent training and management. So here we expect and uh, we hope that after this particular training, you would have understood on how to identify your particular customer, um, how to draw up the various personas, and also using the various research methodologies. How can you use this to gather consumer insights 
and how do you use the insights to support you to implement and iterate successful demand creation strategies. Then secondly, we have the sustainable communities. So here we talk about um, how are you able to improve um, the design and uh, incentives and uh, strategies that you have created to retain your agents. How do you make it more lucrative and attractive for them to keep uh, going through their day-to-day -day business? Then also, how do you reduce attribution rates between your agents or the field staff? And all this is just to see how we can do this to improve your sales and also to improve the retention of your agents. Then we have portfolio and demand creation. So here we have uh, introduced our cutting edge tool that we call the Mamelo. So this is just to help you to understand how to assess uh, ways and strategies on how to introduce new products into your product basket. And if so, how do you use this to improve your supply chain management and your working capital? Then we have the IT and digital. So this one is just to introduce the best practices on uh, digital marketing, ordering and payment. And how can we leverage um, this particular strategies in our business? And this can also be, this will also be combined with case studies. Uh, from companies that we have worked in the past that can support you on doing the same. Then we have the route to market and supply chain. So here we would be supporting you to understand and compare the four distribution models on how you can be able to reach out to your customers using the unique tools to make uh, informed decisions when expanding your agent networks into new areas. Then finally, we have the enterprise and finance. And here is just to support you with the content to be able to gain visibility on your financing needs and support you to make a case to potential funders with confidence. Then we have the agent modules. And the agent modules in detail starting from the A where we talk about attracting customers and marketing. Here we support the agents to understand on how to better draw up a customer persona. So similar to what you did on the manager's training where you're able to understand your personas in detail, this will also be uh, trained for, this will also be delivered to the agents in the agent training. And here we would expect you to share some of your knowledge that you had gained in the training to support the agents to better understand this topic. Then we have the balancing of your finances, which will support the agents to not only understand their finances, but to also be able to have uh, good, good uh, bookkeeping skills and accounting mechanisms, and to also help them to have tips to be able to uh, understand how to manage their business. Then we have the closing sales, which is all the C. So here we will support the agents to understand how to better connect with their customers and how to understand the various um, arguments that come up when it's coming to closing a sale and how to actually deal with these objectives when closing a sale. And lastly, we have the digital marketing and sales. So here we have the guide, uh, the possibilities on how you can guide your agents to be able to set up their own digital approach um, according to the various digital opportunities that are available for their consumers. So once again, if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat and we will go through them through the Q&A session. Um, and I actually forgot to introduce my colleague, uh, Juliet is together with me from the GDC and we would support you in the Q&A session. So the fit, one of the feedback we got from our managers during the training uh, was as written. So they found the training quite impactful and useful to the work they do, especially in the current geography that they're in. And uh, given the current uh, strategies and uh, the lack of the social uh, interactions that's current, that we are currently facing, 
they were able to introduce a, a payment platform using digital strategies that would be used by Paygo. And they're actually doing this together with uh, UPIA and they're looking at possibilities on how to make this work for their customers. The other feedback we got from the agents from the first cohort is, as you can see, and I think uh, you can sense that there was quite some excitement from that particular training, where we got uh, some asking us to do the training again. We got feedback uh, that some actually wanted the material that they can go through again. So just to mention that this will be available to you after the training as hard copy for your reference. Then we also had uh, some mentioning uh, the impact that it has had. So one of them said that they actually learned a lot during the training and they were able to implement uh, some of the lessons in their day-to-day -day responsibilities. And uh, some actually, actually just uh, complimented the team for the content we brought up in the agent training. And they actually can attest to the fact that it has enhanced and enlightened their knowledge that they can move much faster. So moving on to the platform that you will use for this particular training. So the training will be done online um, as it has been communicated. And we have identified and we will be continuing to use the Talent LMS platform, similar to what we use in the first uh, cohort for the agents training. Uh, but this one for the Talent LMS platform will be used for both the agent and the manager's training. So the training, uh, to just to talk about more about the platform, it is uh, mobile friendly. Um, it has also the offline functionality, meaning that you can be able to access your content uh, offline once you download the material. And also just to mention that it actually uh, requires low bandwidth, even when you are going through the course online. Then there's an element of uh, group uh, and branches which enhances the community of practice within the Talent LMS platform. Then also to mention, it is quite user-friendly and uh, easy to access using a link or using your login credentials. Then it is available in multiple languages. Just to mention again, the training will be run in English and in French, and we would have them in the multiple languages. So we have talked about the community of practice and how we plan to build this community of practice. And I think uh, how to start this off is just to introduce characteristics. Um, and as we expect, this training will be for adult learners and it is mainly online. Um, I think uh, there are a few things to keep in mind, especially when building a community of practice, is that this will actually increase the social interaction, given that we will not be able to meet physically give due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that uh, is restricting movement. Then it will also allow for collaboration with uh, your peers uh, in the different companies who are going through the same training. Then it will also allow you to connect with new knowledge um, and experience through the peer-to-peer -peer learning. Then it also allows for immediate uh, application. So you can reach out to us through the platform, uh, to the uh, groups that will be set out, or also to your peers to support you in quickly implementing uh, what you have learned throughout the training. Then it also gives you an opportunity for self-reflection through the training. Um, as the application is uh, quite rapid as the training continues, it also gives you time to reflect on uh, what uh, works and what doesn't work and what you can pick out and what works also for your company at that particular time. Then it is also a self-regulated learning. So meaning you can go through the training when you are available. We have advice that you at least dedicate uh, one hour per topic each week but if you have more uh, hours within the week to go through more, I think that is also possible. So this is what we mean by the training being self-regulated. So what are the various ways that uh, we have designed on ensuring that uh, you effectively build a community of practice throughout this training? One is through webinars like this. So where we get to answer any questions you feel um, have come up once you read the open announcement of the call for the training. 
um, also just to reflect on questions that you might have throughout the training and also just to respond to um, any learnings you'd like to reflect in a wider group. Then also we'd have WhatsApp groups uh, also and uh, the building blocks of the groups and the branches that are in the Talent LMS platform. And this is just to ensure for quick and effective communication to respond to any challenges and to also help you to quickly implement any learnings that you would have had. Then lastly, we have the one-to-one -one TA sessions, which is quite new in this particular training, where we hope to have at least uh, each company have uh, their own session where we get to address questions that have come up from the training and also to support you to not only better understand the content, but also to equip you to implement the learnings in your day-to-day -day schedules. Then, so moving on to our next session, even before the question and answer, this is to mention that this particular community and practice would be set up for your groups once the training has been started. And this one, you will be supported on how to go by with the various uh, sessions. I see a question in the chat. Julia, do you mind reading it out loud? Yes, we've got two questions in the chat. Firstly, how much does the course cost again? Thanks, Juliet. So the cost for the training is 200 USD and the cost will go up until uh, for the agents. So that includes your agents. So um, the cost is per company and uh, for the agents, it is unlimited. And for the managers, uh, preferably would prefer to have two managers join the training. And just to mention, uh, this cost has been subsidized as the training has been uh, funded by USID with support of uh, Power Africa. So take the chance now and equip your teams as quickly as you can. Thank you. And the second question is, how can I sign up to the course? Thanks, Juliet. So the course, uh, so in the landing page um, on the GDC, I think uh, Juliet has put uh, the link, if not, Julia, please share the link on the chat. So on the landing page, there is a section where you can uh, register your details and we can be able to get back to you uh, by the 17th of October if you are successful or not. And just to reflect on that process um, after which we'd expect you to make payment by the 31st of October and join the training. So just to iterate again, the training is open to all last mile distributors within sub-Saharan Africa that sell solar products and life-changing products and would like to um, enhance the efficiency of the last mile distributors and also to increase their sales and retention of their field staff. I hope that was well answered, Juliet. It was, I think. Thank you, Yvonne. Great. Um, so I think we've come to the question and answer session. Um, if there are no further questions, um, I think we can move on to the conclusion and uh, wrap up. So as mentioned, um, once you have enrolled for the training, we will be shortlisting and get back to you by the 17th of November if you have been successful, after which we expect you to make payment by the 31st of October. You will also receive your login credentials to the Talent LMS platform by the 1st of November, November, where you would be joining our academy called the GDC Upskilling the Last Mile. And to remind you on this part, the 1st of November is when the managers start, after which the agents should start on the 29th of November. We will be able to create our communities of practice, as mentioned, and this will be once the training starts. And this one will be done for the various companies in the two cohorts. One is the Anglophone, which is the English speaking cohort. And second group would be the Francophone, which is the, Fran the French speaking cohort. Then just to iterate again on the courses, and this also has been uh, communicated in the landing page. 
We would have four compulsory modules for the managers as of the 1st of November. And also upon request, we will unlock the other two optional modules for the managers if you feel that this course is uh, one course that will help you to uh, build your skills and is also quite uh, pertinent to your current business modules. So that is uh, our presentation. And just to respond to any questions that you have had uh, after the FAQ session, uh, maybe I can wait for a minute or two in case there are any questions that have come up. Okay, sometimes they say silence is as good as content. So thank you for joining the webinar today. And we hope that we have responded to all of your questions that have come up. And we look forward to having you in the training sessions as of the 1st of November. In case of any question that comes up, uh, please feel free to still reach out to the GDC through our GDC email on our landing page, um, and we would be able to respond um, as quickly as we can. So I wish you all the best as you make your applications and looking forward to an, a fun training in the coming months or weeks. Thank you so much and have a goodbye.